नमस्ते एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल बेसिक्स ऑफ स्टॉक मार्केट नाई एम पूजा शर्मा इन प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑन दिस चैनल वी हैव टॉक अबाउट बेसिक्स ऑफ स्टॉक मार्केट डिफरेंस बिटवीन ट्रेडिंग इन्वेस्टिंग म्यूचुअल फंड एंड सो मेनी मोर थिंग्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक एंड दैट इज इंडेक्स फंड सो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई हाईली रेकमेंड दैट यू गो एंड वॉच दोज वीडियोज एंड वेन यू आर डन वॉचिंग दोज वीडियोज कम बैक हियर वील स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक ऑफ index funds so without further ado let's begin first things first what is an index fund index fund is a passive fund now i know you have a question what is a passive fund so there are two types of funds active funds and passive funds active funds are actively managed by fund managers they do analysis of different companies and industries and then decide in which share to invest Since active funds are managed by fund managers the expense ratio of such funds is actually high in addition to the expense ratio these fund managers charge a good amount of fee for managing these funds and which may range up to 1 to 2% for example if the expense ratio of a mutual fund is 2% and let's say you are investing rupees 2000 in it then that mutual fund will deduct 2% annually from your investment amount 2% of 2000 is rupees 40 so the fund manager will be charging rupees 40 every year to manage your funds now let's talk about passive funds passive funds do not get managed actively index fund is one of the best examples of passive funds index fund invests in multiple indices like nifty sensex etc so if it is nifty index fund then that fund will invest according to the weightage of the stocks given in nifty nifty 50 includes the 50 top performing stocks of india which include stocks like hdfc bank reliance infosys etc hdfc has a weightage of 10.67% reliance has a weightage of 9.98% Infosys on the other hand has a weightage of 6.04% and similarly the weightage has been granted to other companies of the total amount that you will invest in the index fund of nifty 10.67% will go to hdfc 9.98% will go to reliance 6.04% will go to infosys and so on and so forth so the purpose of index fund is to track the performance of these indices the percentage of return earned by these indices like sensex nifty will be similar to the return that you will get if you invest in the index fund of such indices since index funds are not managed actively the expense ratio of these funds is also very low and it can be as low as 0.10% so for example if we talk about hdfc index fund then the expense ratio of its direct plan is 0.1% So the expense ratio of passive funds is almost negligible. The whole concept of index fund was invented by John C. Bogle. The concept of index fund is largely famous in developed countries like USA, but they are not really famous in countries like India. So that's why through this channel we are trying to spread awareness so that more and more people can start their investing journey. Warren Buffett himself suggests people to start investing in index fund. In his letter to the shareholders, he clearly mentioned that you should invest in index funds. So I hope now you understand the concept of index fund. Now let's understand how to invest in them. Index funds comes in two types of format. One is ETF format and second is normal format. ETF stands for exchange traded fund format. Some of the index funds which come under the format of ETF are Reliance Sensex ETF HDFC Sensex ETF or HDFC Nifty ETF. In order to start investing in index funds through ETF format, you will need a DMAT account. So if you want to open a DMAT account, let us help you out. Check out the link in the description. We have tied up with Upstocks and we are helping all our students, all our viewers in getting their accounts opened. So do check out the link in the description and start your journey investing really soon. To invest in normal funds like SBI Index Fund, HDFC index fund ppfas you don't need a dmat account you can start investing as you do in mutual funds you can start investing in these funds through direct plan from various platforms like grow paytm etc for example if you want to invest in hdfc index fund then you can simply go to their website and start investing the only problem with etf index fund is that you cannot start sip that is systematic investment plan with them but uh, on the other hand with normal uh, index fund you can do that so that is why i 
prefer normal index funds over ETF format. One really important key takeaway of this video is that whenever you are investing in index fund, always make sure that you're choosing the direct plan as the expense ratio of the direct plan is really, really low. That's all for now. I hope now you understand the concept of index fund and you will start your journey of investing in index funds really soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave comments if you have any doubts and subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed already. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Namaste.